have a very long-standing uh, cooperation with our Russian partners, with the Russian uh, space agency Roscosmos, but also here with the, namely with the Institute of Biomedical Problems, namely in the life science domain where we do lots of uh, joint science on the International Space Station. And we are now, this uh, research project is a uh, really very important one. Yeah? And we started preparation of it in the 2004-2005 uh, year and uh, did the selection of the volunteers, elaboration of the protocols, and now eventually the selection and the nomination of the prime and backup, uh, back, backup crew today. We started with an overall, uh, let's say, uh, 5,600 proposals, which we did uh, well, made, an, uh, made a scrutiny in terms of age, in terms of uh, physical fitness, in terms of background, education, languages or so, and we came to some 300 uh, which were, uh, who were really valid candidates. Yeah? And then we applied further scrutiny steps or so in the psychology and so on, in medical steps, and then we did uh, uh, interviews with some 30 of them, yeah? where we eventually sent uh, 10 of them after these interviews to uh, Russia uh, to do the final medical tests. Uh, and after that, we had four uh, as the remaining ones with full medical thing. And among these four, they uh, had been doing some six weeks of tough training here yeah, and further scrutiny also in the medical uh, domain by various entities, by IBMP, by the Russian uh, University here. Yeah, and OK, a lot of findings have been, yeah, they have been uh, put forward by the Commission and we b did a, a joint selection yeah, uh, between the Russians and, and the European Space Agency and came eventually to this, uh, I think, very promising team composition.